Okay, uh, we're going to start out with RY4 from Aqua Vapor, also known as DK, DK4, and uh, give that a try. I'm redoing this video. Uh, it's going to be shorter this time. My camera system all of a sudden says system error or something, and then I lose all the video footage. So the long video with a lot of hoof in it is uh, gone, and now I'm redoing it. I hate this system. Hewlett Packard CQ60 sucks. Alright, this is a 2.4 ohm, 2.2 to 2.4 ohm Pro Tank set at 4.4 ohms or 4.4 uh, volts. Let's give RY4 a try. It's okay. It's an acquired taste. Uh, maybe you taste that nut just a little bit. It's like the Cubana, but just weaker. It's like the Cuban Select, but weaker. Uh, it's got that Aqua Vapor cigarette taste. Uh, nothing to brag about, but a vapable vape, uh, 6.5 on a 10 scale. Um, it's acceptable. It's just acceptable. Uh, I've been vaping it since yesterday, so I've gotten used to the taste. I will use up the juice. It's not one that I'm going to throw out like the kiwi that was all chemicals. Uh, so uh, the RY4 is just an acceptable vape. Okay, let's go on to our next flavor. We're doing four flavors today. Um, Next flavor is root beer from Aqua Vapor. Root beer. Root beer. Okay, we're at 4.6 volts. Uh, Evog coil tank. Good vape. Root beer is delicious. I just tried it on the last video I did and just as good. Uh, root beer is right up there with banana for me from Aqua Vapor. I would recommend it. It gets a 9. I don't know if it would get any higher than this actually. I mean I should say 10 but I'm saving 10 for that miracle vape juice. Uh, so we'll say 9 on the root beer. Root beer is really good. Great vapor production, great taste, and that's with the Nevod. It's not even the Pro Tank. I want one more drag. Okay, root beer is definitely an all day vape. Highly recommend root beer. I'm going to be buying a lot of root beer from them. I already know that. Okay, next one is Dr. Pepper. We're going on the EVOD again, I think 2.4 ohm, 4 point, we got to turn it down, I already know the Dr. Pepper wants to burn. Um, okay. Just tastes burnt, tastes like nothing. Um, I'm going to change out the coil right now. Okay, here's a brand new 2.2 ohm coil. Okay, I can taste it a lot more. I actually got some of it in my mouth. It tastes like Dr. Pepper without the carbonation.
it's acceptable seven seven point five r y four six point five dr pepper or uh, root beer nine and uh dr pepper will say seven it's definitely much better with the clean coil uh, I have a tendency to use my coils till they're shot. I, I don't know when they go bad. I, I guess that burnt taste was when it was no longer good. So we're going to throw that coil away. I've never done that with the coil. I usually save them, but... Dr. Pepper's pretty good. Uh, it's not great. It's only a 7, maybe 7.5, but I mean, it's not bad. It's something you could vape, and it has a little bit of Dr. Pepper taste, so you're like, okay. Or some kind of sweet taste, maybe more sugar taste than Dr. Pepper. No, it tastes like Dr. Pepper, I guess, but uh, flat Dr. Pepper, uh, no carbonation, and it's warm. So, I mean, how good's a Dr. Pepper when it's warm and flat? You know what I'm saying? Uh, the root beer tastes just like root beer. Oh, good. Good vapor production with it and an okay taste. Okay, what we're going to go to now, last flavor for the day, at least that you'll see, is cheesecake. And I've got that on a Power Sig from V2 with the Liquimax blank, whatever uh, their ohms is. They told me 1.8 to 2.4 is what V2 quoted me their ohms are. Huh. Tastes a little cheesy. I still got the other flavor on there from before, so it's not really coming through the way it should. Uh, I got three more days before I replace this V2 Liquimax blank. I use them for 10 days. I, I do one every 10 days. So uh, this is the best you're going to get off uh, what I'm using right now. I like it. Um, cheesecake's not a bad taste. Uh, I'll rate this around 7.5 to 8. Um, cheesecake... And that's from Aqua Vapor. Avoid that kiwi though, bad stuff. Tastes like a Mount Baker juice, the kiwi. The kiwi's just bad. I can vape this cheesecake. Cheesecake's not bad at all. Uh, 7.5 to 8 on the cheesecake, and that's off of V2 Liquid Max Blank. Uh, we'll find out how it does in the Pro Tank. Uh, another time but not today tastes like cheesecake with strawberries to me uh, gosh that's good I like that uh, I feel like I'm eating cheesecake so alright well that covers four juices the RY4 is a particular to personal taste uh, not much for me I'm forcing it down like I said, it's getting a 6.5. It's just vapable, but I don't enjoy it. Uh, root beer, all day vape, highly recommend it. Tastes just like root beer. They hit the nail on this one, and they flattened it down and put it right into the board in one shot. They got it down. Um, Dr. Pepper, okay. If you like warm Dr. Pepper that's flat, it's got a Dr. Pepper taste to it just a little bit, but nothing really to brag about. And cheesecake, eight, eight. I'll give it a solid eight, maybe eight point five. I'm really enjoying the cheesecake, but we'll find out once again on the pro tank how a cheesecake does. Cheesecake is good. I'm enjoying the cheesecake, but I had cherry in here before. Maybe that's why I thought strawberry on top of it. 
I'm still burning off that old flavor. I didn't wash it out. I just added right to it once it was giving me dry hits. Uh, because washing it out seems to mess up the Liquimax blanks. I don't know why it does to me. Uh, it takes like three days before they work again with a lot of vaping. And i got to use the power sick to get enough energy to uh, do that. And I got this Angry Birds Wrap from V2 cigarettes for one dollar it only comes in the short length so uh, I used it on my uh, V2 uh, automatic cigarette which gives me the worst hits imaginable uh, the power sig gives you good drags it's pumping out five volts uh, these are pumping out like three point but they look really cool the wraps uh, but remember they only come in the short length they're only about four inches long if that so you can only use it on the 510 or the V2 uh, shorty or the medium size V2 uh, and you got to cut it down just a little bit I used uh, my Swiss Army knife to cut it down and as you can see it messed up one little spot there but I used the niche this little plastic cap came off I didn't know it even came off but it did come off while I was cutting that off use a hair dryer to put this on there and uh, and you get little baby hits uh, I, I was gonna say girls might like it because you get those little hits and it seems like uh, a lot of the girls are not taking these monster hits that the guys are taking I, I take medium sized hits I'm a little bit girl in me huh <laughs> but uh... I take medium drags uh... Pete Pissardio, Pissardo takes these monster drags uh... Grim Green takes pretty big drags uh, indoor smoker he takes like three quarter in between medium and high uh, I take medium uh, especially when I'm smoking alone at night I just take little drags and uh, I don't even notice but you don't get much flavor off that you get a lot more flavor off the use in this power sig And a lot more vapor. So cheesecake is pretty good. Uh, so I'd recommend the cheesecake, the Dr. Pepper, or the root beer, Dr. Pepper. If you had to get something and you really love Dr. Pepper, you might want to go with that. But you're not going to get that Dr. Pepper splash that you that you love so much. All that caramel from Dr. Pepper, because that's mostly what it is, is caramel and uh, regular soda, and uh, a lot of caffeine in Dr. Pepper. But uh. I'm going to be trying DFW juices next and I'm getting juicy fruit, banana cream pie and uh, I think chocolate and uh, some other flavor. I'm only spending $25. I learned my lesson that unless you're familiar with the company don't go spending $50 for that free shipping like I did with Mount Baker and find out that it's garbage. Buy like $20, $25 worth of the juice see what their base juice tastes like uh, with their flavors and if you can accept that, if you can accept the base juice, the taste that uh, it comes as when you first get it. Uh, I've spoken to some people and they said steeping is not necessary usually for most companies unless it's a tobacco juice, in which case you may need to steep it for two to seven days or two to four days. If it's a fruit juice, two days at most and that's about the best the flavor is going to get. Uh, I still got my Mount Baker juices. I shake them every day. The caps are off. The flavors are off. I spent fifty dollars, and I am just pissed. Uh, Mount Baker sucks, clean and outright. But uh, Aqua Vapor has some pretty good juices. Their banana is delicious. Their chocolate is good. Uh, their uh, strawberry is okay. Their cherry is okay. Um, kiwi is awful and uh, the root beer is just right up there with the chocolate banana and watermelon watermelon is my favorite all day vape now root beer is um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful so you don't go out there wasting money let's get a sip of this 
and if you look over my shoulder you can see all the orange caps those are all bottles of juice uh, and then I've got some uh, juice from uh, Fast Tech and the cabinet a Marlboro copycat uh, maybe I'll do a review on that since it sat for a month now it's actually good uh, that juice took a while to get good uh, that was a tobacco flavor and it was so strong and had a gurgly taste and would clog up my nose like you jump in the pool and you get that water up your nose that's what the juice would do to me so uh, I stopped smoking it and then I figured I'd try some the other day I've been mixing uh, some of these awful juices with that because it's so strong so that way I could use up the awful juice and get that tobacco taste so I do like one third awful juice and two-thirds good tobacco juice from uh, Fast Tech which it was uh, six dollars for a 50 milliliter bottle so I tried it and when I first got it it was really strong and now it's smokable so be aware with uh, your tobacco blend juices that uh, sometimes uh, they uh, need steeping for quite a while in a nice dark place to just sit and ferment a little bit or whatever they do all right, uh, that covers this video of four juices. I'll try to get four more out tomorrow. So uh, happy vaping, and I hope this really helped. Thanks a lot. Vape on.